crew boarding starting. What's going on, ladies and gents? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your boy Lonnie from Flight Sim Gaming. Departing out of Mexico City today, we're headed towards Tijuana, Mexico. It's the uh, western, the western region of Mexico, borders San Diego. Um, today we're flying with Volaris, the beautiful Phoenix A320. This is a real-world flight flown by Volaris. Uh, in the A320, A321, down to Tijuana from Mexico City. Uh, today's flight time is about th uh, three hours and two minutes time, so it's quite the long, quite the long haul today. Uh, crossing over Mexico, pretty much from the, you know, I would say the, the southern part all the way up to the uh, northwestern part of the country. Um, again, we are down on the ground. We're at gate eight, and we 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 had Mexico um, Mexico City approaches back online now. Beautiful. So we'll have some ATC departing out of Mexico City, uh, which is always good. I'm not sure if we're going to get any coverage going into Tijuana, uh, but anyways, it should still. Make for a uh, a decent video here on the channel, and this is where we're going to conclude our flying for the end of the week. The plan going into next week is we're going to be flying um, with the e jets, with the flight some studio e jets. I got some flights planned out with that. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do four, you know, four videos for next week. We'll have to see kind of what happens, um, but we are going to be flying in North America, and we're doing some flights with um, Horizon. As well as uh, with Envoy. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. But anyways, ladies and gents, let's jump inside the cockpit. Let's waste no time. It's a long flight. And I got GSX doing GSX things. We'll go ahead and we'll load up the aircraft here. Uh, once we get the aircraft loaded up, we'll go ahead and call up uh, a Mexico City Approach. And see what they have in store for us. In it data request... Beautiful. Well, in it request. Hello. Today's flight number is Volaris 180. Uh, cost index of 5 today. I'm cruising up to 36,000 feet. Hello. Come over to page number 2. Mass and balance. So we got 60.1 on the zero fuel weight. So 60. 1,191 kilograms um, and 31.7. 60.1 and 31.7. We'll plug that in. And, uh, the block fuel today, 10.8. We're going to plug in. So 10,800 kilos. Beautiful. Move over to the flight plan tab here. Uh, we're expecting to depart on the Aturo 2 Alpha departure. Out of runway 05 right. Just to confirm here. It is 05 right. So 05 right. Um, and it's the Aturo 2 Alpha. We'll insert that. Fantastic. Uh, in Tijuana at the moment right now, I believe aircraft are landing on 27 uh, runway there. So anything can change. Uh, the winds are 250 at 14 at the moment. But we're going to be on the, I think it's the Tanri 1 Bravo for the... Uh, we're going to expect and plan for the RNAV 27 approach. Kind of crazy uh, coming in here. Fantastic. Come over to the perf tab here. Hello. Zero 05 right dry. We'll load up everything, sync up everything. Calculate. 45, 45, 47. Flaps one down 0 0.1. Let's send that off. And that should be sent off there. Come over to the secondary flight plan. Copy some things here. And we are landing uh, 05 right at the moment in Mexico City. So we'll plan for the island 05 right approach. We're not going to worry about an arrival. I'm sure it'll be radar vectors. And that sort of concludes that. Going to get our frequency here. Uh, so let's look at our ATIS. Information whiskey. The weather. Uh, the winds are 340 at six. Hello. Scattered clouds at 2,000. Scattered at 8,000. It's 24 degrees. Altimeter 3026. Welcome on board. And we'll squawk in a moment. Three zero two six. 
I'm not sure what our altitude is going to be. We'll call up uh, Hello. Mexico Approach, 121 Good afternoon. This way, please. Hello. Hello. Just to confirm, we got information. Whiskey. Beautiful. In Mexico approach. Valeris 180 with information. Whiskey. We're cresting IFR to Tijuana, please. Hola, it's one inch here. Mexico departure is good. Evening. Um, I send the PDC via text, uh, please check. Okay, we'll wait for the PDC. Polaris 180, thank you. Polaris 180, check the text, uh, uh, no like uh, direct message, but the general text. Good afternoon. I don't have any texts uh, from you. Okay, stand by. Roger Blair's one eight. Hello. <clears throat> it's gonna send us our clearance uh, via PDC. There we go. Mexican City of okay, Mexico City approach uh, PDC for Valeris 180, Bienvenido. clear to uh, Tijuana via Toro to Alpha. Five via Toro to Alpha to 360 Squawk 4273 runway 05 right reback Squawk Sid uh, and spot only. Forty-two Mexico City approach, Valeris 180, Squawk 4273, Toro 2 Alpha departure, and stand 08. All right, it's 180, read that correct, push and start, uh, call one ready for push and start. Call ready uh, for push and start, Valeris 180, thank you. Well, there we have it, ladies and gents, pretty simple. Uh, we have some restrictions here. Let's go ahead and open up Navigraph here. Uh, we got to be, looks like, below 14,000 feet um, up here. We are cleared up to 36,000 feet, so we don't need to worry. Um, we're going to be below 29,000 at a Turo. 
remolque y llamando al Torre de Arbo al Arius 4432. Pretty straightforward departure. It's going to be a beautiful climb out of here. Uh, like I said, we've got the winds right now at 340 at 6. Uh, scatter clouds at 2 and 8,000 feet. It's 24 degrees. I'll attempt to 3026. Pretty straightforward. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll... Uh, Call them up. Prepare for push. Let's get our uh, let's get our sounds up here. Mexico City approach Polaris 180, request push and start, stand 8. Polaris 182, push and start approved. Um, caution with the other aircraft to your right, pushing back, and call one ready for taxi. Push start approved, and we'll watch out for the traffic on pushback, and uh, we'll call you in ready for taxi, Polaris 180, thanks. So we're going to push back onto Bravo. It's been approved. We got some traffic. Looks like right there beside us. Let's close those doors. There we go. Not sure if that uh, that aircraft is going to be pushing back before me. Looks like he has. So... We gonna wait. from editing mode. Please wait. Please. We're going to wait. Still pushing back. So we'll, uh, we'll let him go. In the meantime, turn some of the sounds down here. Parking brakes yet. Volaris cuatro cuatro cero dos. Listos para iniciar rodaje a pista cero cinco Polaris 182, hold position, traffic uh, will taxi behind you. We're holding position, waiting for uh, traffic taxi behind us, Polaris 180, thank you. Polaris 4402, pista 05, derecha, QNH 3026, ruede via Bravo, Alpha 1, mantengan de pista. Rodando via Bravo, Alpha 1, Polaris 4402. Got tired of hearing that. We'll go ahead and just restart it. Hello, 
Is he taxiing yet? Yeah, fine. Okay, there we go. Beauty, ladies and gents. Solar is one and two. You can push and start at your discretion. Push start our discretion, Valeris 180. Just had to restart the GSX there. I was tired of hearing. Release parking brakes, please. There we go. Parker brakes coming off. Start up engine number two. Polaris 4402, pista 05 derecha, vientos 340 grados, 6 nudos, autorizado a despegar en el aire en esta frecuencia. Autorizado a despegar, pista 05 derecha. Start up engine number one. Mantener misma frecuencia, Polaris 4402. Beautiful pink aircraft out there, departing off of uh, zero 05 right. Don't forget, ladies and gents, if you're enjoying the content, smash down that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you have not. Closing in on 1,300 subs on the channel. Appreciate uh, each and every single one of you. La Aeroméxico 989, nos encontramos con motores encendidos, listos a rodar. Aeroméxico 989, pista, buenas tardes, pista 05 derecha, ruede vía Lima Alfa Bravo 3, Alfa 1, mantengan tus pistas. 989, autorizado a rodar Lima Bravo, Bravo 3, Alfa 1, llamaremos, eh, mantenemos antes de pista. Let's go ahead and check our trim here. We got down 0.1 on this bad boy. So we'll go ahead, plug that in. Fantastic. Auto brake, set the max. Double Aeros 180, ready for taxi, runway 05, right. Polaris 180, runway 05 right, QNH 3026, taxi via Bravo Alpha 1, hold short runway 05 right. Taxi via Bravo Alpha 1, hold short of 05 right, Polaris 180, thank you. Parking brake coming off, ladies and gents. Take off config. 
You heard the man. Bravo Alpha 1. It's going to be a long takeoff roll, too, I'm pretty sure. High altitudes. Polaris 4402, the altitude. Polaris 4402, ascendiendo a 18000 pies. Polaris 4402, contacto radar, cancel de SIF, vuelo directo a Turo. Cancelando SIF, volando directo a Turo, Polaris 4402. Haciendo y mantenga nivel 350 final. Ascendiendo a nivel de vuelo 350. Now, one of the cool things about flying on VATSIM, for the most part, where whatever region you're flying in, the controllers are from that region. So it's pretty cool that you get to experience a little bit of, you know, all walks of life on VATSIM. It's one big whole community. The whole purpose is everybody, you know, you got your pilots that want to fly, you got your controllers that want to control, and it just uh, makes for a better immersion. You know what I mean? It's. Aramisco 989, pista 05 derecha, vientos 340 grados, 6 nudos, autorizado a despegar. En el aire reporte en esta frecuencia. We're going over to Alpha 1, ladies and gents. So we're going to go around Aramisco behind 9, 9, 05 left. Aramisco 989, pista 05 derecha. En el aire nos reportamos en esta frecuencia. Is alpha one here almost butchered that Polaris 180 holding short zero five right alpha one Polaris 180 wrong way zero five right line up and wait line up and wait zero five right Polaris 180 Get everything on here. Bam, bam, bam. El aeroméxico 989. Nos encontramos en el área de rumbo de pista, cruzando los 9000 pies. Aeroméxico 989, contacto radar, Hacienda Vía, según 3 Alfa, nivel 360. Atendemos eh, a nivel oh, 360, Vía, según 3 Alfa. Let's go ahead. Let's get ready, ladies and gents. Line up and wait. Polaris 180, runway 05 right, wind 340 degrees, 6 knots, clear for takeoff, report one airborne in this frequency. Clear for takeoff and we'll report, report when we're in the air, Polaris 180, thanks. So I was going up, ladies and gents. And flags 56 or 54, SRS Auto Blue. 
It's gonna be a long takeoff roll. Aeroméxico 989, lo veo fuera de la salida, Not vuelo directo a Cebón. Feel the winds, man. Long takeoff roll here, high altitude. And V1, rotate. Positive rate of climb. Gear going up. Oh, shit. There we go. New Mexico City approach Valeris 188,000 for, uh, for 14,000, flight level 140. Polaris 180, radar contact, climb via Altura 2 Alpha to flight level 360. Climb via Altura 2 Alpha, departure, climb to flight level 360, Polaris 180. Air México 989, directo Cebón y continúa ascenso a nivel 360. Air México 989, directo Cebón y continuamos ascenso a 360. High altitudes here, I'm telling you, man. It's gonna make for a slow departure. Go ahead, kick the autopilot on. Bring it back up top. So we got a restriction. I know he's cleared us up to 36,000, uh, but we have altitude restrictions coming up here, so we gotta abide by them. Very slow climb out here. Laps one. I'll be honest, I don't know when I gotta turn my landing lights off. Do I turn them off at 10,000 feet here? I'm not too sure. There's 10,000 feet. Let's go ahead and plug them off. I'm not too sure to be honest. going in an open climb. Polaris 4402 en punto a duro continuando plan de vuelo. Polaris 4402, dejando mi espacio aéreo hacia el norte, Centro México fuera de línea, servicio radar terminado, monitoreo único, menú 122, decimal 8, que tenga buen vuelo. Muchas gracias, cambiando a único, 122, decimal 8, gracias por el servicio y buenas tardes. Gracias por su visita igualmente. Coming into the clouds here, 
There we go. 290 knots. Now we're climbing. There we go. 24,000 or 2,400 feet per minute. Apollo 180, you can still see flight direct Aturo. Direct Aturo, Polaris 180. Direct Aturo. Insert direct. There we go. Nice little vectors on out. A nice fella, that guy, you know? Such a beautiful climb out. Mexico City, definitely one of the one of the better places to fly for sure. When it comes to scenery, altitude, the food, I don't know, man. Beautiful. Direct Arturo, that's what he wants. We're climbing. Slowly but surely. out of his uh, out of his airspace momentarily I'm gonna take the aircraft up to 36,000 feet ladies and gents I'll catch y'all the next little bit enjoy the rest of the video peace Gents, welcome back to the video. We are on the descent into Tijuana on the Tannery 1 Bravo RNAV arrival. Uh, we are expecting the RNAV 27 approach. The winds are calm at the moment, but aircraft are departing off of 27. So we're not going to plan the ILS. Um, the RNAV approach is sort of offset, so it's not, um, it's not a, a sort of direct land. We're going to have to um, pretty much uh, make a slight left turn to get ourselves lined up with the runway. Um, in the meantime, let's open up Navigraph. Let's kind of show you what we're doing here. So we're on the Tannery 1 Bravo arrival. Before runway 27. Very simple, a couple waypoints here. We've got to be above 8,000 old dud. And then this is sort of the offset approach here. Like I said, it is offset. Um, basically, once we clear the mountains here, I'm going to kind of rotate the aircraft right and then center it back left just to get, you know, a better a better visual rather than um, trying to make a short turn almost almost just before the runway. So aircraft in real life are actually swerving it, swerving it on left. So, um, sorry, swerving it on right and then lining it back up to kind of get itself a little bit more stable for the approach. Minimums are 1,000. Uh, right now the winds are calm, uh, clear skies, it's altimeter 2-9 or 9 or 1. 
should make uh, should make for a, a decent arrival coming in here. Beautiful scenery out here too, ladies and gents. Now, one thing for this approach, um, you want to get slow pretty quick. I put a couple fixes out there about 10 and 5 miles out from the airport. You want to get slow pretty quick. Otherwise, you'll get hung up with the, um, the V-Dev there. And you'll never get the aircraft back. So we're going to pretty much go flaps 2 relatively early. Once we start seeing the city, we're going to go flaps 2. No ATC on right now at the moment in Tijuana. I'm not even sure if there's any, if there's ever any traffic out here in this part of Mexico, but um, definitely SoCal is lit up right now. They got uh, controllers on in, uh, in LA, San Diego, Ontario. It's it's always busy. We're not going to be going into any SoCal um, ATC airspace um, as Mexico. I think it's uh, I forget which controller controls this airspace but they pretty much cover the border this aircraft will never go in the across the border even on departure too on departure off runway 27 you're departing uh towards san diego towards the actual border and then it's a quick left turn out right as you come on top the fence the border fence you start making that uh, that left turn out so so it's, uh, it's a pretty cool approach it's definitely hard to do it's not an easy approach just because it's uh, it's sort of offset, and if you don't look for cue, for uh, uh, certain landmarks on the ground, you're not really going to know how to get yourself set up to. And hopefully we don't do a go around because I'm probably going to butcher this approach. I've already tried it a couple times with FSI panel, not uh, not too successful. See what the aircraft's doing. Transition's 18.5 here, by the way, ladies and gents. 18.5 is transition. Yes, ladies and gents, the beautiful mountains of Mexico. I love the terrain out here. So much of Mexico to see. You know, when I think of Mexico being from Canada, obviously you think of Cancun, think of Puerto Vallarta. You know, you, you think of Mexico City. There are some planes. You got uh, Aeromexico flies out of here. Canada flies into, into Mexico City. But you don't really think of, um, you know, desert and mountains, right? The Baja, California, or California Baja. Whatever you call it in this state of Mexico, it's uh, it's a lot of desert out here. You got um, Cabo San, what is it, Cabo San Luca, which is south of here. I don't think there's any scenery out there, but got those speed brakes in. We just blew by our uh, speed there, just ch uh, chatting a little too much there. If you're enjoying the video, ladies and gents, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you have not. We're pushing up on 1,300 subs on the channel. Appreciate every single one of you that tune in. Uh, we're going to be doing some E-Jets flights next. Um, we're going to kind of do like the same thing. I like the idea of starting like on a coast and then headed towards the opposite coast. We're going to be... I believe we're going to be starting in Anchorage, Alaska with the E-175. Um, Horizon does some flights from, from Alaska, 
from Anchorage down to Portland in the, uh, in the E-Jet. So we're going to do that. Uh, Portland, I think we're going Portland to Vegas. Vegas to Austin. Austin to Washington, Dulles or Dulles. And then I think we're going up to Detroit. That's the plan. I might have... I might have butchered the actual plan. I do have it saved on my uh, on my cell phone. 185 coming up. Let's go ahead. Uh, what did I say it was? Two nine or nine or one? Two nine or nine or one. Dude. And we're going to go down to 35, 3,000, 3,000 feet. That's what we want to get down to, 3,000 feet. We're going to be at mandatory 3,000 by Tango Juliet 408. Tango Juliet 408. And again, this flight is about three hours and two minutes long. It's a long flight across uh, Mexico. We had some, if you're just tuning in, we had some ATC coverage at the beginning of the live, uh, beginning of the video. It's not a live stream. Yeah, and a Mexican approach. Mexican, the Mexico City approach was online. Did a fantastic job. Some of the procedures are a little bit different in Mexico. Um, clearance is uh, done via PDC. You got to read back your uh, departure, your squawk, and the gate that you are at. See the Pacific Ocean out there. A little bit of haze. Should be coming up on 10,000 feet momentarily. Ah, we're not even close. 14, 14, 4. And I always, uh, always got to comment on the scenery. I just absolutely love the terrain out here. You almost think there's almost no civilization out here. You know what I mean? And you'll see once we get on the approach, once we're about uh, 15 miles out from the airport, you're going to see um, some civilization. You're going to see some some proper some proper buildings and such. As we start coming in towards the city of Tijuana. I said we got to get slow pretty quick so we're about 38 miles out I'm gonna go ahead and activate the approach phase and we're above 250 at the moment this aircraft is gonna be difficult to uh, slow down I'm not sure if there's a bug with the RNAV approaches with these aircraft or with this specific aircraft but uh, 
Definitely the, the, the RNAV approaches, in my opinion, seem bugged. And I don't know, maybe if we get rid of... I don't think this really makes a difference. I don't know, it's just the constraints. The constraints are weird. I'm sure ATC will probably just direct you down. But you'll see, it'll get to a waypoint, and then if there's a constraint, the aircraft will start to pitch up. It's not a consistent um, descend, if you know what I mean. wing lights on we're gonna go ahead and get uh, our landing lights on and we're gonna pass through this little this little valley here it's actually pretty uh pretty cool we get those speed brakes out you've got to be at 250 below 10,000 feet speed up here. The aircraft is going to try to run away. It's slowly doing it right now. I can see it. Get, um, get the speed below 230 so I can get the flaps out here. There are no speed restrictions, so you kind of, you kind of gotta just. Plan it accordingly. We don't have any traffic behind us, so we don't need to worry. Go ahead, flaps one. about uh, 17 and a half miles out. So I'm gonna assist here with the speed brakes. Full speed brakes out right now. ahead and we're going to arm the approach below 200 knots we'll give it uh, we'll give it flaps two beautiful 
Again, the aircraft is going to try to run away on us. A little hazy right now. You can't really see the airfield. Uh, but we will be able to see it momentarily. A little bit of civilization down there, finally. This approach is going to be 6,000 feet, I believe. We're about 10 miles out now. We're going to keep the speed. Gears going down. Go flaps three. Two thousand five hundred. Flaps full. Let's get the rest of our lights on here. Bang and bang. Beautiful, ladies and gents. Going to be a little difficult for me to find the airfield here. Gear down, three green. Flaps are set. Ground spoilers are armed. Go ahead, ding the cabin. I'm going to have issues here. Because I can't see the actual airfield. We need to follow the poppies here. I think we're going here. About five miles out. Arrival, ladies and gents. Still no airfield in sight. I think we're over here. We'll go ahead, take the aircraft. Continue. Let's monitor the pappies here. One white, three red. Beautiful. Looking good on the approach, ladies and gents. Down. 
no geese, ground spoiler, sorry, reverse out, felt firm, I don't know about you, but it felt firm, no geese though, no geese. Reverse are stowed, ladies and gents, welcome to Tijuana. vacate here bring it back up top felt firm very firm uh, let me see where am I parking Should have had this already opened. Uh, where are we going today? We're going stand or gate 10. You coming on, let's get it. I think we're going right there. Yeah, that felt slightly firm, I'm not even gonna lie. That one felt firm. But hey, we made it. And it is a pretty decently long runway. I could have, could have buttered it a little bit better, but whatever. Beautiful terminal here, by the way, ladies and gents. It's not a bad airport. It's actually a really nice airport. I think there's only one flight to the United States. I think it's... Uh, I forget actually who flies out there. The flight of Phoenix. Maybe American. Market break coming on is APU. APU is available. APU bleed coming on. Beautiful. Let's kill these guys. Come back up top. Seatbelt lights coming off. And request the boarding, ladies and gents. Welcome down to Tijuana, ladies and gents. By time of three hours and two minutes time. Appreciate y'all coming out today. Sort of going to conclude um, last bit of flying with the Phoenix. We're hopping back in the E-Jets, ladies and gents. That's the plan, the E-Jets. We're going to be uh, doing some, some ops from Alaska. Uh, we're headed back out east. That's the plan. But anyways, just want to thank everybody who tuned in today. Appreciate y'all. And if you haven't yet, don't forget to like the uh, like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you want more content from Flight Sim Gaming. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook, Flight Sim Gaming. And I'll catch y'all in the next video, ladies and gents. Enjoy the rest of your week. Peace.